So I'm back and today I'm doing a get ready with me video. I wanted to do a get ready with me video because one, I love to watch them and two, why the heck not? So today I am going to the Dodger game versus the Arizona Diamondbacks. I'm so excited because this is my first game of the season. I love going to baseball games. I don't like watching them on TV. It's kind of boring. I'm a little bit more of a football girl, but I love to go to the Dodger games. Like, I love going. And I wanted you guys to get ready with me. <laughs> so, today I decided I'm actually wearing my Dodger shirt. I'm wearing an LA Dodger shirt. And I decided to go with a bandana updo. Who doesn't love bandana updos and I know it's gonna be hot today so I didn't want my hair down and I didn't want to do anything too crazy I went for a natural eye look I'm gonna be wearing sunglasses all day so eyelashes were not necessary and I decided to go with this really pink lipstick <laughs> so Let's go ahead and get started. A little bit of a disclaimer guys, I am not a professional makeup artist or hairstylist. The first thing I'm gonna do is section off my hair in the front for my front roll that, go, that is gonna go with my bandana updo. Now, I'm not being very precise, I just grabbed a section from the front and I'm gonna go ahead and curl. Okay, so I'm going to clip it out of the way and move on to makeup. Well, I've clipped my roll and I'm going to let it cool down there while I'm doing my makeup. I've already moisturized my face and I'm going to start off with a primer. I'm using the Hourglass Primer. And I will put all the product descriptions that I'm using below. So I'm just going to smooth this all over my face. Next I'm moving on to foundation and, and I'm using Estee Lauder's Double Wear uh, Stay In Place Makeup Foundation. And this is a full coverage foundation and I'm not a big fan of full coverage foundations but this goes on pretty silky smooth and I only place a small amount of this on my face and I just spread it thin over I focus it on my t-zone area and that's basically all I use <laughs> um, a little does go a long way it is a full coverage and yeah I just apply it with my fingers and next I'm gonna go in with my bare minerals um, this is golden tan Oh, by the way, the Estee Lauder one, I'm using Tawny. Tawny, and I'm using Golden Tan W30 for the uh, Bare Minerals Original Foundation, and this does have the SPF 15 in it. And I don't really have any blemishes, so I didn't use any concealer. And I'm going to be wearing sunglasses all day, so I'm not too worried about my eye area. And moving on, I'm using the Laura Mercier, I hope I said that right, um, bronzer in O2. And I'm just going to put that in the hollows of my cheeks, just to warm up my face a little. Okay, next I'm going to be filling in my eyebrows. Now, I know I do my makeup a little weird in different steps, but this is just how I do my makeup. So, I'm going to take, well, this is almost all gone. It's the Perfect Blend Pencil Crayon by Cup Girl. Oh, 
I'm focusing on the bottom line of my eyebrow. Okay, so next I'm going to be going in with a brown shadow. I'm using this double ex espresso eyeshadow. It's just two colors and it's an old Mary Kay uh, shadow, but you can use a dark brown or a black or a blondish light brown. I don't know, whatever matches your brows. But this is an eyeshadow that I'm using and I'm just dipping my eyebrow brush into the eyeshadow and I'm just gonna lightly fill in my eyebrows. Starting at the ends, sort of spreading out that CoverGirl pencil line that we did and going over my entire brow. Okay, so the brows are done. Now, with the same brown that I used to fill in my eyebrows, I'm going to line my top lash line. As close to the lash line as I could get. So I just went into my lash line with that brown. And that's it. I did forget my blush, so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And I'm using this Mary Kay Shy Blush. So I'm using the Mary Kay Mineral Foundation brush, which I did use for my bronzer. And I'm just going to go ahead and use it for my blush. Now this has like a shimmery gold, I want to say like undertone to it. Or there is like a shimmer gold in this, so it creates like a natural highlight. I'm just kind of dusting it on my cheek. Not too much product, just enough. <laughs> my face is... Okay, so I decided to skip out lashes today because it is going to be hot and I'm going to be wearing sunglasses all day. So no one's going to see them anyway. So I'm just going to go in with my Makeup Forever Smoky Extravagant Mascara. And I love this mascara. I've been using it for a few months now. And it is my favorite. Okay guys, so I'm pretty much done with my face. I'm just going to leave my lips for last. Okay, so I'm going to move on to my hair. I'm going to take this little clip out. I have my Suavecita, handy dandy Suavecita pomade standing by. My hairspray. I have some bobby pins and my bristle brush. So I'm going to go ahead and take this section of my hair and brush the rest of it back and get it out of the way. Now, I'm taking a little bit of my Suavecita pomade. It's a little goes a long way, guys. And I'm just gonna brush the sides back, or smooth the sides back, all those flyaways so they don't get stuck in this barrel. I'm gonna take this section of hair and tease. Now, I'm not gonna tease too heavy because it's just a front roll and we want it to look nice. So I'm gonna tease the front and tease a little bit in the back, starting at the base. And the, <laughs> that looks cute, doesn't it? <laughs> and then I'm going to smooth it out. I'm gonna put some Suavecita pomade, Suavecita pomade on my fingertips while I'm doing this. So I'm going to smooth it out with my hands first and then with my brush, my bristle brush. Make sure you get that Suavecita pomade on the ends. Okay, now I'm going to smooth this out a little bit.
See if I can do this on the first try. Okay, so I'm gonna wrap it around my fingers and then I'm gonna shape it and play with it. So I want this to kind of swoop down a little bit. Oh, I need to smooth it out there. Hmm. I kind of like the shape of that, so I'm going to go ahead and hairspray. Hairspray the back and the sides. So I'm going to do the same thing as roll it up in my hand. It looks pretty good. Uh oh. Flyaways. I hate flyaways. Okay. Okay, so I like the shape of that, so I'm going to go ahead and do it again. Now that I know where it's going. Now, sometimes it takes a couple tries, but... That's okay. If you need to brush it out and tease it again, go ahead and do it. The struggle is real. You know, sometimes, some days I get it on the first try. Sometimes I have to try a couple times. Just gonna smooth that out. Roll it up in my fingers and try it again. It's the important part. You can't get frustrated. It will work out. Just gotta work with it. Okay, so I think I like how that looks. And I'm gonna go ahead and pin it right there. Hairspray. Okay, so I just have my bobby pin there, and I'm going to do one more to secure it, and then I'm going to hairspray the crap out of it. Okay. So I'm going to cross my pins. You have to always cross your pins to lock them in place. And there it is. Now I'm going to go ahead and hairspray inside the roll. Back. And that should hold it. There is my, my front roll. Now, all of this hair, I'm going to hide it under a bandana. So I'm going to go ahead and pull it up into sort of a high ponytail. And it doesn't have to be perfect. And a hair tie would be nice. Let me go grab one. Okay, I got a hair tie. Now I'm going to go ahead and pull my hair up into a high pony. 
Now I'm going to section this off into three and just do a loose braid. I'm going to make this braid into an extremely loose bun at the top of my head because we're going to be stuffing this under a bandana and you don't want there to be like a huge like lump under your bandana. You want it to be cute. You want it to have like a your head to have a nice shape to it, not a huge lump under a bandana. So, so I'm going to wrap it and try to focus it at the top very lightly wrapping it around, not lightly, loosely wrapping it around towards the top of my head. And I'm just going to stick a few bobby pins to hold it in place. Now, I'm just sticking the bobby pins in there. I'm not even opening them up. Just, so I did my very messy, ugly braid at the top of my head. And now I'm gonna do, take my Dodger blue bandana. I'm folding it not in half, but, let me go this way. Not in half, but a little, like a quarter of the way. Hopefully you guys can see this. And then I'm going to place it over the back of my head. I'm going to pull these and I'm going to tie it loosely in the front just to hold it for a second and this piece I'm going to tuck my braid bun in there and I'm going to tug it up a little just a little not too much now I'm going to fold this flap back and underneath I'm tucking it behind my roll and that is basically where I'm going to tie my bandana down. But I'm going to slip a bobby pin back there to hold the bandana down. So it's basically just going to go in the bandana here and into my hair just for a little bit of security. Now I'm gonna untie this and I'm gonna t twist it back a couple of times and I'm gonna tie it behind my roll. Loosely behind my roll. This isn't gonna be very tight. It's gonna be very loose. So here are my two ends, and it's actually tied over that bobby pin. And this is very loose. I think that's key. It's loose on my head, not tight. I'm just going to tie a little bow. And then I'm going to tuck these tails in the bandana. I'm going to pull it down in the back a little. Now one trick I like to do with my little tails from my bow is hairspray them so it and then I make them look like an actual little bandana bow. So I'm going to spray the tails and then I'm going to spread them 
spread them apart, give them a little bit of a tug, and then it ends up like a bow. It'll be stiff when they dry. They'll dry stiff, so it'll hold its shape because of the hairspray. So it's just a cute little bow at the top behind the roll. Give it a final hairspray. Final spray. Now I'm gonna stick one bobby pin is usually enough for me. It'll secure the bandana in place, but I do one on each side. And it'll keep it from sliding off of my head. Okay, so my bandana updo is done and Moving on to the last part, my lips. Like I said, I am not a professional makeup artist. I've just been doing my makeup for a really long time now and I've experimented and I found that using eye primer on my lips, I'm using the Mary Kay eye primer on my lips, helps my lipstick stay all day and it doesn't dry out my lips. Because I hate it when throughout the day you're taking sips of your drinks and you're talking and then you get like this line, perfect line of like lipstick and no lipstick. And I hate that. So I focus the primer on, I kind of pout my lips and I focus it in that area here. And I spread it out. Okay, I'm going to use the... Fab Fuchsia Wet n Wild Lip Pencil. I'm taking this dual lipstick by Bite and I'm using the, this is the Violet Lipstick and the, I'm not wearing my glasses guys, Palomino Pink. I'm going to use the Palomino Pink and just fill in my lips. Now this is very pigmented, so a little does go a long way. And then I blot once. And I'm done. Okay guys, so I am ready. I'm done. That's it. You guys got ready with me. Now it's time for the game. I hope you guys enjoyed this get ready with me video. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Please give me a thumbs up if you liked it. I think I have a DIY video coming up, so stay tuned. One last thing before I go. I just want to say thank you to everyone who's been commenting on my videos, um, leaving me uh, positive comments, great feedback, giving me a thumbs up, uh, subscribing to my channel. You guys are the best. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you guys. I can't thank you enough for the support. It's overwhelming. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>